Have this feeling, feeling Haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I do all like shop with me videos. Pretty much anything to do with like Target, Home Goods, Home Decor, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, fun stores like that. So if you love shopping and seeing what other people buy, if you love home decor, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It helps out my channel so much and I appreciate it so, so, so much. Probably gonna do another giveaway coming up soon, so you'll definitely wanna be subscribed for that, so definitely make sure you hit that button. Today's video, we are kinda just running around looking for odds and ends. We're gonna hit up Hobby Lobby, probably Home Goods maybe Target, a couple other stores in the area. I'm in my favorite area, there's so many stores here. There's also Marshalls, there's so many stores here, the possibilities are endless, so come along with me, let's go shopping. I still need nightstands, I'm looking for like a chest, not like a chest of drawers, I need that for the guest bedroom, but for our room, something that a TV could go on, but not like an entertainment center, I'm not really sure, I'm probably gonna end up with like a buffet that like goes in your kitchen, but it's gonna be in my bedroom, I don't know. When I find something I like, I'll definitely let you guys know, I'm just not sure what that's gonna be yet, I know it's out there somewhere we just have to go and find it so let's head into the first store which is Hobby Lobby I'm looking for one specific item so let's head into the store and see what they have for us I'm sure I will be picking up a lot of fun stuff along the way so definitely make sure you stay tuned to the end for a haul all right let's go so I'm trying not to get sucked into the store I really just came here to look for the anthropology mirror dupe I'll put a picture of it here just in case I don't find it um, but I'm hoping that they have it it's a super hot item the one for anthropology is like thousands of dollars and this one with 40% off is only like 170 or something. So I'm really hoping I find it. I want to see it in person. I don't know if I necessarily want to buy it. It seems very like vintage-y. And now that we're more moved into our apartment, I feel like I'm going more like boho modern, like clean lines, that sort of thing. So I think I'm going to move in a different direction than I originally thought. And I thought I would want the mirror, but I'm not sure. But I am hoping they have it because I really want to see it in person. So I'm over in the regular mirror section. Hey. And I don't see it here, not in this aisle either. But I do believe that it's supposed to be over in the spring shop, so let's head over and check there. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna end up with something more like this, or maybe just a round one, but just with like a simple black frame, I think. Like this one would be perfect, 129. Wall decor is on sale this week, which includes mirrors, so that could work really well in my favor. This is a really good size too. 31 inches in diameter, but I'm gonna check Home Goods to see if I can find one bigger for less money before I come back and buy this one. Okay, so here is the Spring Shop mirror section, and I'm not seeing it. It's supposed to be huge, like five feet tall or something, so I definitely wouldn't be able to miss it. This one's kind of cool. Kind of looks like a cloud. I feel like it'd be really perfect for like a little kid's room. I just like the shape of it. It's very like whimsical, I feel like, so that one's pretty awesome. That's a good deal too. That one is 139 and then everything is 40% off, so it would be 83.99. So no luck with the Anthropology mirror dupe. I'll probably keep looking at a couple more Hobby Lobbies because I really want to see it in person, like I said. Um, but I didn't think I would find it. It's like a super hot item right now and I just feel like everybody has been buying them up. But I want to take a peek at a couple other things. Of course, it's always 50% off wall decor when I'm here when I need it to be table decor, but I should probably just time it better. Gonna take a peek at a few more things and then probably head over to Home Goods. I really like this little ledge right here. I think it would look really cool under like a big round black mirror. I really like that it has like this natural wood and then these go straight. Um, you just like position them up on the wall. But I just really like the way it looks. I do wish this was wider though. I think it's only about like four or five inches deep and I wish it was like a little bit bigger. But I really like the look of it and I think that would be really cool on the wall that I'm thinking of putting it on. Then they have this aisle of just like organization heaven. So many pretty little glass jars if you're looking to like reorganize your pantry or if you're looking for new like counter canisters. I really, really love these ones. 
I love the lids that they have and they have like two different sizes and I just really like the way that they look. I love the little like knobs on top. We're thinking about getting something like this or like this for storing coffee in our cabinet because we have a couple different types of coffee, but they just have so many different options for organization and things like that. They also have like to-go containers or um, Tupperware containers that are glass with wood lids. Those are super, super nice. And because this is all the spring shop, it's 40% off. I really like this ledge too. The color is like perfect for our house but this one is just too small I need it to be almost that length maybe like a little bit shorter than that but not that short like I need the in-between of these two if that makes sense and I would love it in this color I always feel like all the best stuff is like hidden in these front displays these are really really pretty they are table decor they are the champagne shimmer collection if you are interested these are super pretty they don't like suction on or anything they just like rest there so keep that in mind if you're thinking about like food storage but they're really really pretty this is 100 my aesthetic especially this little thing that says indoorsy <laughs> i feel like i aspire to be outdoorsy but it just doesn't really work for me all the time i just love all these little baskets they are so so pretty and then lots of like natural wood with like green little elements like these little like canvases they're cool they have the painting like hanging inside with like rope super interesting pretty sure those are new i have not seen those before and i love them okay so they are starting to put out all of their like fourth of july memorial day stuff if you want to see an in-depth video me going over everything that they have this year definitely let me know in the comments down below okay heading out of hobby lobby now just a quick trip i was really honestly just looking for the mirror and if table decor was on sale, I probably would have been interested in looking at more stuff and picking up more stuff. Gonna head over to Home Goods now. Okay, JK headed back into the store because Brian texted me and asked me to get some jars. So I have to pick up some jars and I thought of one other thing that I meant to grab while I was here. So let's head back in and grab those things really quick and then we'll go to the next door. I'm thinking I'm just gonna get a couple of these ones. I wish they had a taller version. They have this one which matches but it doesn't have the little leather piece at the top. But these are like the two sizes that I see here. One is super small and the other one's like the medium size. So I might just get a couple of the medium size ones. Alrighty, I got the goods. Let's roll. This doesn't look like home goods. Okay, to be honest, I mostly just came into Target because I wanted to get Starbucks and in this area, there's no like standalone Starbucks. They're only in the mall or in Target. Um, but this store also has the who, what, where like clothing line. And I wanted to take a peek at a couple things, but I think I might feature this in my Target Tuesday this upcoming week. Definitely let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. The clothes are so cute and they don't carry it at a lot of Targets, but they have the whole line at this one specific Target that I love to go to. And some of the stuff is so cute. So if you're interested in seeing more about like the clothes that they have right now, definitely let me know. Okay, I don't wanna get sidetracked because I'll probably talk about that in next week's Target Tuesday. But the other reason I came in here was looking for bike shorts. I'm wanting to get into bike shorts and I can't find my size. I really want these seven inch ones from Target but they are sold out in a medium. So I might have to order them online or go to a different Target. They do have the 10.5 inch ones, but I feel like my legs aren't that long. So that's why I wanna get the seven inch ones. So I'll just have to keep looking, but I don't wanna get stuck in here all day. So let's head over to Starbucks. Got the goods. I'm just going to quickly eat my egg white bites. Guys, did you know you could get the acai refresher without the strawberry pieces? I thought that when they shook it, that was like what put the flavor, like the strawberry pieces into the drink, but I guess not. Which makes me happy because the strawberry pieces get really like gooey at the bottom and they're just gross. So I'm a happy camper. All right, gonna quickly eat these, watch some dance moms, and then let's head to... Let's do Marshalls and then Home Goods. We'll save Home Goods for last. This outdoor set is so nice. I love these chairs and this little table for just $2.99. I'm scared I'm gonna find a lot of outdoor furniture now that we already got a set. Okay, ran into Marshalls, mostly honestly just interested in looking at what furniture they might have. They have a lot of really cute outdoor furniture from what I can see, and that makes me sad. A lot of really cute Mother's Day stuff. Mom established 2021, and then they also have this mug too. 
One of my best friends is pregnant, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and grab her one. But I'm not sure if I wanna get her one with the lid or the blue one. I swear they've had this one stool for literally six months. They have it every single time I come. It's so cute every time, but they just, no one's gonna just buy one stool, I don't think. This is some more stuff. They have like these modern looking like white leather stools with black legs, bunch of those. This is what I've found so far. Okay, so this actually could be really cool for our bookshelves at the bottom. We have like a really tall space. This could make that space more functional because it has drawers. So this is actually a really cool find. This is another option, like a corner shelf, but I'd wanna put baskets on it and it'd be really, really hard to find baskets to fit just in here, but the colors are great. I love the tone of the wood and the little white shelves, and this is $50 as well. I like these. These would be perfect for the covers for our outdoor furniture, but could also double as like a little coffee table for in front of our outdoor couch. We are struggling to figure out like where to keep our patio covers. Brian wants to throw them away, but I'm like hell bent on keeping them. So I think something like this would work as like a coffee table, but also a place to store the covers. Found some like floating shelves. I wish these were a little bit longer because I love the color. It's like super natural. I don't think that it's stained at all. Great price too, $14.99 and it includes the hardware. It says it can only hold six pounds, but I would just be putting like decorative stuff on it anyways. But I didn't know that they had these at Marshall's. I have realized that we need one more set of coats posters for on our coffee table but I want to get the ones that like come in the cover if you know what I mean where they like sit in there so I'm gonna be on the hunt for those because they don't have any of those here okay in home goods now I did see a few things I wanted in Marshall's but I wanted to come check here first to see like if there's any other options but if not I'll head back to Marshall's and then once I'm done here Stay tuned for a haul. I am looking for throw pillows for our new couch. Our new couch is amazing. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys everything. These nightstands are kind of cool. They're tiny. I feel like they're like super, super short. Plus, I don't know, they look like clothes almost. They are Tommy Hill figures, so maybe like, I don't know, I feel like that looks like too industrial, I don't know. I like them, but I think they're a little bit too coastal and they're definitely too short. We desperately need something like this for our patio. This one's on clearance, but it's because someone must have like dropped it and totally like just cracked the heck out of it. I don't even know. But I am on the hunt for like a bar top table like this with two little chairs. This is like the biggest round mirror I've ever seen. It's absolutely massive. It must be like, like look at that. Look how huge it is. This pulls my dress up. Like look at how absolutely, it must be like, I think it's my height and like diameter. So like, I don't know, 54 inches or something. It's massive. Not a bad price for the size either, 200 bucks. That is super intense. I really like this one too. And then this one is nice too, but it'd be cheaper to get it at Hobby Lobby or Target. And then this one has this like cool like bamboo detailing. There's just so many different mirrors. There's just a bunch to choose from. I like that this one has like this three detail, but I think I want to stick with something more clean looking like that. Okay, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might remember that I was looking for these for a really long time and then I found them and at the time I just didn't have the extra cash to spend $300 because they are a set. They have one here for on clearance for $100 because if you can see the frame is super broken. I don't know if it would be possible to take the picture out of the frame though. Like I'm trying to see if it would be at all possible to like salvage it because this is just drilled in. So I'm wondering if we could take those off and salvage the art. Another big piece that's super nice, but very, very pricey. It's also like a grayish blue color, which wouldn't really work with what we have going on, but it's really, really pretty. I just love the detailing and I love how it's like see-through. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't like that because you actually would have to keep it pretty neat but you could organize it with like baskets on the inside and if this was like a white color, that would be so pretty. So this is pretty similar to the one that I liked in Marshalls. This one's cool because it's on wheels, which I really like. Just opens on the inside, nice and big. And this one's actually $10 cheaper. It's $40, the other one was 50. I kind of like this like plain black one, it's $25. We're thinking about putting it behind our door so you wouldn't like see it when you have the door open. I feel like that would be a good size for it. It's just black, woven. I like this one. I feel like these are pretty good finds. This is like a mini honey bunny and then a blue. Happy Easter, y'all. This one says, hop into spring. 
Some really cute finds. Dang, I just found two more of these. They have them hidden all over. Another cute one. This would be really cute for Valentine's Day if it didn't have like a bunny on top. I wonder if you could like find a top to like switch it with like in your collection. I don't have that much Ray Dunn left, but a lot of good finds today. Another super pretty outdoor set. They just brought this out. I love the tabletop too. It's super pretty. It's like stone. It is the Thomasville brand and it is 350 for the two chairs and the table. And they're really nice like rocking chairs. These are great. Found this little like philodendron leaf or palm type leaf on this little, it's wooden but it's on a little stand. It's a clearance item, 10 bucks. I thought this is kind of fun. It has some little like gold accents. This is so cute. It is missing a little piece right there. Um, but if you put it up high and hide it behind something, I feel like you could still really make it work. I have to say I'm a little bit like disappointed. I wanted to find some throw pillows, but they're super picked over and I just don't want to settle on the throw pillows. So I'm going to keep hunting for them. But yeah, I haven't really found anything in this store that I need, which is good for my wallet. I almost forgot to check out the coaster selection. The only ones I found that I really like are these ones that say good vibes only, but that's what I meant by them like sitting in the box. You do get four coasters for $9.99. Might go ahead and pick these up. I don't know, I do like them enough. You know, it's just a coaster. I see a couple more back there actually that have the little barrier around them. So they have this one, which has like a honeycomb pattern. It looks like it's from the same brand because it has the same little leather tag. That one's kind of cute. Then there's these ones. Those are pretty intense. I feel like I would like them if they didn't have like the black metal part on the coaster, just like that was the thing it sat in. So it actually kind of matched our TV stand, but not these ones either. Just gonna keep looking. I don't really see any that I love here. And I know I'm just gonna end up replacing them pretty soon, so I don't wanna buy any that I don't love. I'm obsessed with this coffee table. It's so pretty. It has like a marble top and then these really nice, like thick wood legs. Super good price. It is 149. Great size. Oh my gosh, I love this. Found this paper towel holder that has like a marble bottom. It's super nice. The top is a little bit like weird though. It's kind of sitting on there weird and you have to screw it off every time you'd want to put on a roll of paper towels. I like it, it's nice and heavy, but I'm gonna leave it. I am gonna probably pick up though, like the spoon rest that kind of matches it. I just think it goes perfect with all of our stuff. Alrighty, wanna quickly show you the stuff that I picked up today. I didn't get too much stuff. So in the back of my car, I did end up getting the little basket to put the covers in. So I'm hoping that that will work in the space that we wanna use it for. It would just be so nice to have a place to like put the covers. So hopefully that works out. And I got that from Home Goods. It was actually, I got the same one that I saw at Marshall's, but at Home Goods, it was $20 cheaper. At Marshall's, it was 50 and at Home Goods, it was 30 and it was the exact same basket, so. I don't really know why. And then the only other store I bought stuff from was Hobby Lobby. So at Hobby Lobby, I grabbed the pair of tongs that match the set I got like a couple of videos back in my Hobby Lobby, like haul, spring shop video. I didn't originally pick up the tongs and then Brian was like, did they have tongs? <laughs> Literally, of course he asked me when it's the only thing I didn't pick up. So luckily they still have them. So I picked up the tongs that match. We use these to like get stuff out of the air fryer to like flip bacon because we cook bacon in the oven. Um, super useful and the ones that we have don't match our other stuff and they're just like starting to peel and we just needed new ones. So I picked these up. The pair of tongs was $5.99 and then 40% off. So it was only like $2. That's not math. It was like $3.50, I guess. I don't know. $5.99 minus 40% off. And then the only other thing I got was was three of these jars with the lids. Um, we wanted to get them to store our coffee like in the cabinet because we have a couple different kinds of coffee. They're clear so we can see through them and see which coffee is which. So I picked up three of these. These were $14.99 before 40% off. So they ended up being like around $10 a piece. They're super nice, I really like them. I like the leather pull as well and they do suction so they'll keep our beans fresh. So I picked up three of these and this and that is everything that I got today. Oh my gosh, that's a lie. That's not everything I got today. I started talking to Brian's stepmom on the phone and totally forgot that I bought stuff at Home Goods. So I also got this um, Tommy Bahama wine stopper. It's just a little pineapple wine stopper. I thought it was so cute. It's just a little bottle stopper and it was $3.99. And then I also grabbed this 
spoon rest. It is marble with wood. I just feel like it matched a lot of the stuff that we have really well. And it was $5.99. We needed a spoon rest. Um, I have a Ray Dunn one currently and I wanted to get rid of that one. So I finally found one that I love. So I decided to pick this up. I really wish that I could have found coasters. I always find coasters like this. I wanna find marble coasters in a wooden holder. So I'm just gonna keep looking for those, but I got this for $5.99. That is everything that I got today. Alrighty, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope that you love watching all of the different stores that I shopped at today. Definitely let me know down below if you prefer like dedicated store videos where I just do like one video per store and like really focus on that, or if you like it when I go to all different stores, if it's like more casual, or if you like the mix, just let me know down below. I'm really interested in hearing your feedback on this specific topic because it's been something that's on my mind a lot lately. So just let me know down below, let's talk about it. But if you love this video and you haven't yet, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.